This is a gorgeous 2021 BMW X6 X Drive 40i. And for those of you who don't know me yet, I am Samir Omar from BMW Toronto. What I'm doing today is a brief walk around of this vehicle and then a virtual delivery as a customer is picking it up later today. Uh, due to COVID times, we're doing virtual delivery. So I'll help set up the whole vehicle so the customer knows exactly where to go and customize the vehicle to his or her personal preferences. And for those of you thinking of uh, purchasing an X6, uh, similar to this, or even a base car with standard features, I'm gonna go over all of that so you know exactly what you're getting into and how to go about and set up your personal vehicle as well. <clears throat> Uh, so to mention a few things, uh, the standard features on this, uh, if you're going with the 2021 BMW X6 X Drive 40i, now keep in mind guys, I am in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, so Canadian spec will be all the same. It may vary slightly in different countries, uh, even for you guys there in the US market. Okay, so you do get a remote engine start, M Sport exhaust system, 21 inch M light alloy wheels, white spoke bicolor with performance front flat tires. These unfortunately are not those. These are, it's winter time now. So these are in the 19 inch winter tire package that we offer. And this is what it's installed on right now for delivery. Uh, sport automatic transmission with pedal shifters, tire pressure monitor, adaptive M suspension, <clears throat> alarm system, M sport package, rear view camera, satin aluminum window surround panorama, sunroof, sun protection glazing, velour floor mats, electric seats with driver memory, sports seats, leatherette dashboard, heat comfort package for the front, aluminum mesh effect trim, <clears throat> auto dimming exterior mirrors, ambient lighting, adaptive full LED headlights, LED fog lights, high beam assistant, active protection, driving assistant, active guard front collision warning, Sirius XM satellite radio tuner, hi-fi sound system, intelligent emergency call, teleservices, connected drive services, connected package, professional Apple CarPlay preparation, BMW live cockpit professional, BMW gesture control, M leather steering wheel, M aerodynamics package, anthracite roof liner, high speed, uh, obviously performance tires, cross traffic alert rear, collision warning with city braking, lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear collision prevention, and speed limit info. Cool guys, that's a lot of standard features. Tell me one brand out there, one other brand out there that offers so many standard features in a vehicle. Then uh, furthermore, this uh, particular customer packaged uh, it with the premium enhanced package, which gives you the universal remote control, uh, comfort access, soft closed doors, side sun shades uh, as for your rear windows, heated and cool cup holders, comfort seats for the front, Seat heating, front and rear, automatic four zone climate control, park assistance plus with surround view, head up display, Harman Kardon sound system, BMW drive recorder, wireless charging with extended Bluetooth and USB, Wi Fi hotspot, uh, and the upgraded uh, brakes. You also have the adaptive two axle air suspension, uh, ventilated seats, travel and comfort system, massage function for driver and passenger, BMW laser headlights. BMW uh, high gloss black window surround. He went with the standard brakes versus the M brakes. Uh, he's not a performance oriented driver, just wants a nice luxury car that looks good. And obviously he has a very good taste. So he picked the Flamenco red metallic. So anyone out there wondering how this color looks like, this is it live right here. It's a bit of a cloudy day. Uh, obviously it would show much brighter in the sunlight. And the interior that he picked uh, is the ivory white perforated Vernasca leather. So once we get inside, we'll look at that and we'll look at a few more options and features inside and how I go about setting it up. So let me just do a quick walk around of the vehicle so you can see it well. <clears throat> I love the slim uh, tail lights there. Slightly the tinted glass. You can see the paint from here much better from this side. 
a nice deep red. Those are the BMW laser headlights. Gonna open it all up. Look how gorgeous this color combination looks. The flamenco red with the ivory. Welcome carpet lights. You can see the welcome carpet lights again on the floor. Gorgeous, I love this color combination. Yeah, the rear sunshades for the rear windows. Heated seats, your individual temperature controls, the travel and comfort system, so you can plug in a suit jacket holder, iPad holder, things like that, USB-C charging right next to it. Uh, you have an armrest with a little bit of storage and dual cup holders, bottle holders on the doors. Uh, large panorama sunroof. Soft closed doors. Here's your massage seat button right there. Of course, you can operate from the iDrive controller as well. All right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get inside the vehicle Oh, let me show you the underneath storage. So the X6 does have some underneath storage as well. It's on a hydraulic lift cover. So look, it just holds itself up there. Enough deep storage. Winter mats installed. So the summer mats are in the trunk with some tools. A privacy shade. You can close it so no one can see inside the trunk. And I can kick under the trunk as the key is on me smooth kick in and out and the trunk closes itself <clears throat> check that aggressive uh, spoiler for the trunk and also for the roof spoiler right there <clears throat> all right let's get inside let's go through some setup All right, so mainly what I'm gonna do is, uh, actually, let me shut the hood that is not closed all the way. Uh, 
All right, so guys, so what I'm gonna do is go through the setup mainly of the screen that we're looking at and then go through the setup one by one. Obviously, uh, there are a lot more things to go over on this. You can watch some of my other videos for that. Um, it's just I do these all the time and uh, I'm so used to it. But again, if you guys have questions while watching it, please don't hesitate to write me in the comments below. Ask me something that you're wondering about and I'll, and I'll answer those questions. I'll be happy to do that. Um, again, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Do like the video. Comment below what else you would like to see and as time comes, I'll make it and please do share it with uh, friends, family and uh, people with uh, similar interests. All right, so let's go one at a time. Uh, we're going to go on the media and let's go to Sirius XM, which is your satellite radio in Canada. Here we get a free six month subscription with your new car. So we've already set it up. I like channel 53, so we're gonna keep it on that. The car does have gesture control, so point your finger to the screen right above you over here. If you see, there's a camera right here. So that's a camera that watches your finger movement as long as you're within that vicinity. You'll be able to do so one full circle clockwise, volume up, how easy that is. One full circle anti-clockwise, Volume down, I can do this gesture to mute, again, unmute. This gesture, I can assign it to something else, like take me home or do other things, uh, which we can go in the gesture settings and change that. There's another gesture, where's the thumb? So do thumb right. So it's next station or previous track, uh, if you're listening from your phone, or previous station, previous track, easy as that. If your phone is paired via Bluetooth and you're receiving a call, all you do is point to the screen, you answer the call, swipe right to cancel that call if you didn't want to take it. <clears throat> all right, so that's your uh, Sirius XM. We have a lot of options here. You can sign into Spotify right here in the car. So have your Spotify account right here or connect via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and play your Spotify through there. Okay, you can do screen mirroring, obviously your mobile devices, what you would pair. Uh, settings, you have Wi-Fi and an internet connection in the car as well. So Wi-Fi hotspot, trial version, three months, three gigabytes. Once that expires, you have an option to renew that uh, for obviously whatever fee the, the telecom company charges you. Uh, com is basically your communication. So telephones, uh, mobile devices, obviously you'll go under here to pair your phone, new device, so you can just talk to your car and it will do a lot of stuff for you. So once I set that up, I'll show you how you can talk to your car. <coughs> uh, nav is your navigation. Let's set this up. So we'll go on to map settings. I like uh, perspective view, it gives you a nice 3D view and the direction of travel. And also let's check mark all these uh, labels here. So again, if you don't want to see something, you can always come here and uncheck it. That's why I'm showing you this, where it is. Uh, so now I can zoom in, zoom out, and I'll bring you a 3D mapping. Obviously I can use my fingers just like a cell phone, zoom in, zoom out, but I don't want to touch the screen. It's also COVID times I'm trying to touch as less as possible. Once I'm done with the car, I'm going to go over and sanitize the whole car and focus more on the areas that I touched as well. So that's simple. Play with your uh, maps, learn these things. Again, you have questions, ask me. Uh, under car, actually, before we go into car, let's go into apps and see. So that's your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right here. It will automatically pair. And then let's activate the drive recorder, which is your dash cam system. So this is how you would do it. So go under apps, under drive recorder, check mark this that yes, I have read all the information above. So please do read that legal statements and hit start setup assistant. Uh, so I'm gonna set it up as manually and automatically. So if you do have a collision, it will automatically pre-record 20 seconds prior to the collision and 20 seconds after. 
uh, or, and you can manually operate that as well with the camera button located, uh, let's say right here. You push that camera button and hold it a few seconds and it will come up on the screen where there, if you would like to start recording and you just say yes and it will. So in case you're driving through a scenic route, you could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue here, continue with my setup. I'm gonna set it to the maximum time of 20 seconds. That's before the trigger. Uh, hit on continue and then 20 seconds after the trigger, which means before impact and after impact. So you'll get a 40 second recording. And I'm gonna click on okay and it's all set up. Let's go through settings again and check what was set up. Uh, how many cameras? So camera selection was all front and rear, front or just rear. So you could select that as well, but I'll keep all four. <clears throat> The car has a surround view camera system, so you have four cameras in the car, one in the front, one in the back, and two on the sides. And your save vid videos will be here. You can transfer, plug in a USB flash drive right there and transfer it over, show it to the, the police or the insurance company, that kind of stuff. A car has a built-in memory quite a bit, so you don't have to worry about memory and storage. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go into car. This is where the main brains of the car is. Uh, let's go on the vehicle status. Let's go on the settings. Okay, general settings, uh, date and time. Let's set to automatic time settings. So this will take care of daylight savings and all that good stuff. Uh, date format, I like day, month, year. But again, if the customer likes something else, you can come here and set it up or you watching is come and set it up here. Language is set to English. Now they've act, uh, actually added Asian languages as well. I guess it's uh, Mandarin or what Chinese uh, people speak. Uh, so Mandarin uh, and their personal assistant, uh, voice control, and we're gonna activate the wake word and now you'll be able to talk to your car. So I'm gonna check mark that and it says the keyword right there, hello BMW or hey BMW, and you'll be able to talk to your car. You see how it's working, but let's do that in a second. Actually, you know what, let's do it right now since we're here, I may forget. Uh, so it's very simple. Uh, you're in your car and you want to navigate to home or someplace and you're driving, you're too busy, you don't want to pull over and push directions in so you can just talk to your car. Okay, so let's try that. Hey BMW, 11 Sunlight Park Road. All right, our next destination is 11 Sunlight Park Road, Toronto, Ontario. So guys, it's simple as that. That's our dealership location. We are right here. Um, so if you can see, uh, it shows a very short distance to the front entrance. I'm upstairs on a delivery floor, which is a fifth floor and hence the amazing views I have from up here. Uh, behind me is the CN Tower as well. Like I love working here. Anyways, uh, so that's how easy it is now. Say you change your mind, you don't want to go there. So just say, hey BMW, hey BMW, cancel destination. I've ended the guidance. All right, guys, simple as that. Uh, a few other things like say you're driving and you're feeling a bit tired, you wanna grab a coffee. So you can say, hey BMW, find me a coffee shop near me. I've selected coffee shop. All right, so it's searching for results. Usually it's much quicker. It's upstairs, okay. we indoors, there we go. It brings up a lot of shops here. So you can select different shops you wanna to go to and it will start taking you there, okay? So about 50 selections right there. So quite a few. Uh, let's try another. Hey BMW, I am hungry. Find me a pizza place. I found several restaurants. Which one should I All right, select? Guys, simple as that. You see again, 20 locations close to me. So it's very easy. It brings up the Yelp uh, link as well. So you can go there, read about it, Yelp reviews, things like that, and go from there. If the restaurant's uploaded a color uh, menu, whatever, you can see all of that there. So it's really cool because your car has a live internet connection in here. All right, uh, there are quite a few other things. So if you notice the ambient lighting is set to, I guess, uh, amber right now. Let's change that. Hey, BMW. Hey, BMW. 
change ambient lighting to lilac. Okay, I've selected the lighting color lilac with contour and lilac. So guys, it's really easy to use. Uh, try using your car more often. The more you speak to it, the better and better it gets. Don't be worried about I have a different accent or different dialect. It will pick up. The more you speak to your car, it will pick it up. Okay, so let's go back on the car. We were under settings. I was under general settings. Uh, personal assistant, we just set that up where you can talk to your car. Uh, units what we use in Canada. Sound is basically your stereo system. Uh, so let's set it up to a little bit more tone there. There we go. Again, you can set it up uh, how you would like it. This is where you would come here. Gesture controls, what I was talking about. So preset gestures and the function assignment. So this gesture right here, it's right now set to mute and play. You can do control display on off, which is that screen. Guidance to home, recent calls, notification, voice control, music recognition. So a lot of that stuff. Uh, function assignment two, there's this gesture right here. Right now it says guidance to home. So open fingers, close to a fist and then open fingers. And if you have your home address set, it will start taking you there or you can assign it to some other gesture right here. Uh, touchpad is is referring to the iDrive control of this. This is also a touchpad, so I can use my finger and write alphabets with it. So you can search me on Google by just typing S U M E R four one six, bam, and I will show up. So if you need me to help you, please do that. Uh, anyways, let's continue. So that's your touchpad. Uh, pop-ups so anything you touch everything is touch sensitive in the car you touch your seat adjustment buttons and it will show up here so if you don't like seeing all those you can deactivate from here but a lot of stuff shows up here uh, getting started it's like unwrapping a new phone and setting it up from scratch which is exactly what we're doing so uh, you could do that or use my instructions uh, speed warning you can set it up if you're one of those who does not realize how fast you're going you can set up a speed warning the car will warn you that you're going uh, past that limit it's a good thing to set it up because bmws drive very comfortable very luxurious they're very quiet so at times you may not know that you're actually going that fast until you actually look at your speed so it's a good idea to do that uh, fatigue and focus alert let's set this up to sensitive uh, so if you swerve around too much on a long distance trip, uh, the car will eventually guide you to pull over, grab a coffee. Uh, data privacy, I would highly recommend select all services, include analysis. You can go and do the individual selection, but you'll find yourself selecting most of everything because you kind of need it. Uh, for your app to work simultaneously with your car uh, to in sync and pair well. Uh, mobile devices, we went over that earlier. Wireless charging tray. So that tray right there with a white M card is, that's your wireless charging tray for your phone. So if your phone is equipped with wireless charging, throw it in there and it will uh, charge it wirelessly. Again, phone has to be facing up. Make sure you don't have any of those magnetic attachments behind it because sometimes that protects it from not charging. Also, I'm using a plus size phone and it fits very comfortably. Samsung's may have a slightly larger, uh, which will also fit, just depends on how much larger it is. And that white card, since we're on that topic, that is your digital key, so a credit card style key, which you can use also to access your car, to lock and unlock your car, and uh, come inside and start your engine with it, uh, which later on we will go ahead and activate that and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, remote software upgrade you don't need to do that reset vehicle data again if you're buying a pre-owned car from someone this is a good idea to come here and reset vehicle data so you can come in and start fresh uh driving mode sport individual eco pro individual you can change it to personal settings of how you want the sport mode to perform but i'm gonna leave it to factory settings which i like <clears throat> exterior lighting uh one touch turn signal so three times click and all this standard stuff i'm gonna leave that on pathway lighting to 20 seconds this is for your for your driveway if it's very dark at night you lock your car your headlight will stay on for 20 seconds to illuminate your way so that it's nice and lit and once you get inside after 20 seconds your uh, headlights would switch off <clears throat> again you can change that timer to longer or shorter 
driver assistance, so safety and warning, forward collision warning to early, lane departure warning, let's set it to early, with steering intervention and active blind spot detection with early. This is where you would configure those. Speed limit assistant, adjust manually, let's so show current limit. Uh, warn when exceeding an excess speed display. Uh, parking and maneuvering, automatic PDC activation. PDC is your park distance control, which is your uh, uh, sensors. Uh, PDC with brake intervention, let's activate that. So emergency braking in the rear and emergency braking on the sides. So if the car is parallel parking itself and it notices a movement, a cyclist, a jogger, a pet, or someone sitting in the car or a car actually moving, it will automatically brake itself. Same thing if you're not using automatic parking and parking the car, backing it in or something, car notices a movement, it will brake for safety. If you push it, it will allow you to go, but first it will brake for safety if you have that feature on. Okay, so I think it's a good thing to keep it on. Better safe than sorry. Automatic parking alert if parking space detected. So if you want the car to find a spot and you're parking, passing by it, it will alert you, yes, space detected. And that means the car can park. Uh, cross traffic warning. If you want to know how the car parallel and perpendicular parks itself, I have another video driving an M850 Grand Coupe. Watch that, I go over this exact feature. Uh, parallel and perpendicular parking itself and also backup assistant, which this car has. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, cross traffic warning uh, is set to active. Uh, panorama view GPS base is activated and volume for your sensors. Okay, we'll keep it to the standard factory settings. Steering wheel feedback, we'll set it up to strong. So if you're swerving off your lane or someone's in a blind spot and you continue going, ignoring that, your steering will vibrate, telling you that there is someone there. Uh, displays, uh, head up display, uh, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, look in the distance, you can see the street speed limit and then my speed limit next to it on the right, uh, which is zero. So you can see a lot of information there. If you're following uh, maps, uh, navigation, you will see your, your maps show up there or directions show up there turn by turn. Uh, like front collision warning would show up there. You can do your music selection right there. For example, let's see, there we go. You can see that scroll down moving. So I'm, I am using the scroll bar right here on the steering wheel. So go up and down and select your station, depress it in and you're good to go. Again, if you're listening to music off your phone, same thing. So you're not distracted looking straight, looking in the head of display. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, all that stuff. Even if you're receiving a call, it will show you who's calling you so you can answer the call uh, by pushing the phone button right here or pointing at the screen to answer or swipe right to cancel the call. Uh, brightness, let's set it up to a bit more brighter. Okay, and the height I can adjust. So let's lift it up a bit more higher as well. Uh, rotation as well you can change the rotation so if you used to sitting slightly in an angle in the car you can rotate that uh, let's see additional displays for driver assistance you can do sport displays as well okay instrument panel uh, refers to this right here right now you can see it's showing the maps right there <clears throat> and on the screen if you see it's showing setup to map view so let's change that i like the route preview so when you do that it will instead see on the left it changed the view it'll show you your turn by turn directions <clears throat> okay you can change the engine display what it needs to show All right, uh, control display is this screen we're looking at, so you can turn it off here or adjust the brightness. Driving mode view is on, so sport, comfort in the middle, and then Eco Pro at the end, which are basically these buttons right here. So if I go Eco Pro, the screen in the middle will turn blue, comfort will stay to the white, and sport will go red, so let's do that. So if you look here, that's comfort, it's white. I'm gonna go to Eco Pro changes blue and if I go to sport it goes all red all right back to comfort uh, let's go to doors uh, uh, 
uh, doors and vehicle access. Uh, so tailgate, you can adjust the tailgate height. If you have a low roof line, you can stop it to wherever you want. I'm going to keep it to maximum because I've hit my head accidentally in the past and it wasn't fun. So I'm going to leave it to the max. I'll let the customer decide what height is good for them. Digital key. Now, this is the key that refers to that right there. And we're going to click on activate main key. Okay. Inactive key detected. Do you want to activate it? Let's go activate it. And activation successful. Now this customer will be able to use this car to unlock the car, get inside, start the engine, and go away if you just forgot your key. All right, so basically what it is is you take that car, tap it on the door handle. It will allow you access in the car, get inside, put that key in that tray. Within 30 seconds, start the engine, and you're good to go. Comfort access, so very cool where normally it would be you'd grab the door handle, unlock it. Once you're done, tap on the door handle and it locks the car. Now when you approach the car, it will unlock it. And when you walk away from the car, it will automatically lock it as well. So I've activated that. Um, all these features here. It's winter time right now. It's going to snow and ice any day. So I'm going to leave this feature on. But for you, Mr. Customer, watching this and for you customers watching it, this is a cool feature for the summertime. Activate this. Uh, fold mirrors in when locked. So when you lock the car, mirrors will fold in. And when you unlock, the mirrors will fold back out. Okay. Or you can obviously do it manually uh, by this button right here right here push that button and the mirrors fold in and out all right let's go to interior lighting we did set it up to lilac earlier but a lot of color options as you can see so you can select your favorite uh, brightness i'm gonna turn it up because i love the ambient lighting and i'm gonna keep dimmed for night driving deactivated now, for if those of you who don't like too much light uh, at nighttime, if you feel it's too bright, you can obviously dim, keep it dimmed for night driving or manually uh, adjust the brightness above there. Uh, seat comfort for driver's seat. Uh, oh, man, I should have had my massage seats on throughout. Well, let's switch it on now. Go to level three. And so many options for massage seats. Look at that. I'm going to go whole body activation. Might as well, right? All right. Passenger seat. Let's switch that on to keep it at level three. I'm just going to set it up. Uh, if you see, as soon as I switched it on, the lights on the door came on, the green lights. So I set at level three. Oh, wow. This massage feels so good. Okay. So whole body activation for the passenger as well. Seat and armrest, re, um, armrest heating uh, for driver. Yes, it's activated. So armrest and the seats as shown on the screen there. Uh, both activate with the heated seats. Front passenger, uh, both as well. So armrest and the seat. <clears throat> Climate control. Oh, this is really cool. You know, you can remote start your engine uh, with, with your key. So this is important. Come under climate control. Go all the way down. Do preconditioning and ventilation, check mark that, go all the way down to remote engine start, and you have to select this option, click on OK, and now you'll be able to remote engine start. <clears throat> Alright, so that's important. You can of course set up a departure schedule if you know what time every morning you leave. Set up a time like 8 a.m. 10 minutes prior, the alarm, I mean the uh, ventilation will come on and set the car temperature to a constant 21 degrees so very comfortable inside whether it's freezing cold or hot outside okay so really cool feature obviously now you can remote engine start as well <clears throat> okay so key button settings driver door only so when you unlock it's just a driver door or you can set it up to all doors if you know most of the time there are more people with you all the time. But if you're by yourself, then keep it at driver door. Uh, tailgate, this is for your trunk again. So when you unlock the trunk, it's just the trunk, not the doors as well. Okay. And I guess that's about it. Uh, what else? Ask me in the comments below. 
If you have questions about something, please do not hesitate to ask. Ask me and I'll be able to answer them. I know I went a bit faster just to not let the video go too long and for the customer picking up the car, that way they know the basic settings. Uh, this uh, has the adaptive uh, air suspension. So this is your toggle switch to lower the vehicle. And you can see on the screen, it shows up that and toggle switch up to increase the height. Again, for, for kids getting in and out, makes it easier, lowers the car, or for someone older having a difficulty getting in a high vehicle, then that's where that is helpful, or to load unload stuff in the trunk, the car lower, so it's easier, you don't have to lift as high. Again, you'll have a button in the trunk that you can use to lower the car from there for easy access as well. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, most of these buttons here, but again, if you have questions about these, please ask me. Something really cool, the car has heated and cool cup holders, so those buttons right there to activate the heated and cool cup holders as well. All right, so I'm gonna switch off the engine. Let's go outside and I'll show you how to remote engine start and we'll end the video there. Again, you guys, if you haven't uh, done so already, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, click on the bell icon for more informative content like this and do comment below of what else you would like to see. All right, so I'm going to lock the car there. And to remote engine start, uh, here is the key. The BMW logo is your lock button. So push that three times and let go. So one, two, three, and let go. And you can see that the car ignition starts for you. Uh, now you're letting the car warm up or the temperature controls to run inside to either cool down during summer or to warm up the vehicle inside during winters. And then you know what, you got a call or you're stuck in the office for longer, you don't wanna go. So you don't have to go back out to your car. You can switch it off from the key again. How you would do that the exact same way, the lock button three times. So one, two, three. And the engine cuts off and you're good. Car is locked. On your phone app, you can even confirm whether your car is locked or not. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Again, please do subscribe to the channel. Your support is what keeps me going. Do like the video, comment below what else you would like to see, and do click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. And see you guys on the next one.